Hey guys, welcome to your three-dimensional polyhedron unit. Um, this is actually probably the last thing we're going to cover this year. Um, as crazy as that sounds, the year is almost over. So I'm going to give you some vocabulary and like how to identify your polyhedrons today. And you're going to fill a little doc out for me kind of identifying those vocabulary words and then turning it in and also showing me a sweet picture of your polyhedrons that you made. Can't wait to see them. I hope they look awesome. Um, so just to give you some vocabulary. So a polyhedron is a three dimensional figure. So that is what you made. All of those polyhedrons that you hopefully made yesterday, the cube, the rectangular prism, the triangular prism, those are all three dimensional polyhedrons. Um, another vocabulary word is the, let's find a cool color, the faces. So these polyhedrons are made up of flat polygon shaped surfaces. So to put that into your words are, it, I have a cube down here. This cube, every single side of it is a square, okay? So all of these squares or square sides of this cube, they are all called the faces of the cube. So if I wanted to go figure out how many faces this has, I have one, two, three colored, four colored, and then I have to do the front five, and then the back, which is six. So this cube has six faces or six sides, if you want to think about it that way. Um, so then another vocabulary word is the edges. So the edges are the line segment where two faces intersect or meet. So I have unlabeled in pink down here. So let's stay with that pink theme. So this is an edge because this face and this face meet right here and it makes an edge. So if I wanted to go and count all the edges, this is the tricky one because you can't overlap. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 edges, okay? And notice there's no side that I didn't, or no line that I didn't cover. Um, that's definitely hard if you wanna color yours as you count them, that's fine, because it's hard to, oh, did I count this one? Did I not count this one? So you may use colors if you would like to help you figure those out. Um, and then the last thing you need to identify about polyhedrons, are the vertex or the vertices. Vertices is if you have multiple of them, which cubes have multiple vertices. But a vertex is just the point where several edges meet. So it's literally just like the points or the edge or the corners, I guess. So cubes have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. Okay, so I kind of just gave you some answers for your graded assignment that you're doing. Not really graded assignment, just participation assignment that you're doing after this. So if you wrote those down, that's going to help you. You have to do the other polyhedrons on your own, though. Um, so just to go through the different kind of polyhedrons that you made, um, you made three basically kind of prisms because cubes are considered a prism. But a specific prism, you made a rectangular prism and a triangular prism. So prisms have polygonal faces, which you should know that all of the faces are all of the sides in a rectangular prism. They're all rectangles. So the faces are rectangles. Um, the faces in a triangular prism, though, you have two triangles and then you have three rectangles. Okay, they're all made of polygon shaped faces. So the prisms are different than the pyramids that you made because they have two identical parallel polygon shaped bases. So what that basically just means is that they have two bases and I actually have them in purple here. These two bases of the prisms, that's first where they get their name, okay? Our prisms are named after their bases. So obviously a rectangular prism has rectangular bases. 
And if you notice, they are opposite of each other. So those bases are considered parallel because if you extended them forever, they would never meet. Um, a triangular prism gets its name because there's two bases are triangles. And those are opposite as well, too. They're parallel if they extend or get as big as they can. Um, they're never going to meet. Um, so a big thing to remember is that prisms have two bases. Prisms, two. Um, we're actually going to play a little game of quizzes, and you need to know that, so mental note. Um, but then you also made two pyramids. So pyramids only have one base. So you made a square pyramid and a triangular pyramid. So the base is, I always like to think the base is what it kind of sits on. So in the square pyramid, the base is just the square bottom that it sits on. In the triangular pyramid, it's the triangular side that it sits on. Um, so once again, a pyramid is named after the shape of its base. Obviously, a square pyramid has a square base. A triangular pyramid has a triangle base. Um, da, da, da. After the bases, so the base is obviously going to be the shape of its name, but after that, pyramids have all triangular faces besides the base. So if you look at the square pyramid, all of these faces that meet up at the point or the tip of the pyramid, they're all going to be triangles. Same thing for the triangular pyramid. All of the faces that meet up at the point are going to be triangles. Okay, so it's another good thing to remember. And for some reason, this is a fun fact that you're supposed to know, but they would like you to know that the base of the pyramid is opposite of the point. Okay, so point, base, they are on opposite sides, which... I feel like that's how all pyramids are, but fun fact, okay? So I would like you to go figure out or fill in that Google Doc that just has you counting at like the edges, the vertices, and the uh, bases of each polyhedron and trying to think of a real life example of each polyhedron. Fun, okay? Let me know if you have any questions. If you wanna use colors to count the edges and the vertices, go for it. That makes it so much easier. Other than that, I will talk to you next.